Small businesses are fed up with college waste. 67% of employers are unhappy with the state of higher education. Our next guest is the founder of a tuition-free charter public school that gives 9th through 12th graders a path to succeed in STEM or aviation. Here now is Dick DeVos from West Michigan Aviation Academy. Now, he knows a thing or two about the state of education because he's married to former Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. Dick, it's great to have you with us today. I love this story because employers are saying, we don't like what we're getting from colleges. And you're saying, let's build a high school that gets high school students ready for the workforce. Tell us about what you're doing. Well, absolutely. Thank you, Brian. It's uh, great to be with you guys today. Uh, we're a unique uh, public school. We're a charter uh, high school, 9 to 12th grade, as, as you mentioned. But our focus is on aviation and the skills around aviation and then STEM and then engineering as well. So what we're really looking at is training people to have uh, great careers. Oftentimes, when you think about alternative careers or skills-based training, we often think about you know, electricians and plumbers, but flying an airplane and maintaining an airplane, those are skills yeah. too that don't require a college education. And we desperately need those skills as much as we need those skills that are taught in higher ed. Dick, what struck me about your story is that um, you fly planes yourself and you have a love for doing it that was instilled in you by your father, who flew planes in World War II. We thank him for his service. But he came back and opened his own flight school um, and, and members of your family fly planes. So this, to me, sounds like more than just an endeavor, more than just helping the kids, but that there's a labor of love here as well. No question. It's a, it's a passion for me. Um, I've start, been flying now for 25 years. I fly jets. I fly helicopters. I have a son who flies jets and helicopters with me. My father flew, as you noted. It is a passion. And, and isn't that wonderful if we can help kids connect with their passion and, and help them find careers that, that come from inside of them? I, I'm sure there's more kids like me that when they, they, they hear an airplane overhead, they can't help but look mm. up and say, wow, what's going on up there? That's exciting, and it's amazing, and I think if you could connect kids with their passion early on, as you were trying to do, Dick, that would be really a, a great thing for this country and for, for our youth. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Hey, can I just add something here real quick? Yeah. I, I, was, I, I love the stories on, on this school, but one of the things a reporter said when they went to visit the school is when they talked to the students, the students would look you in the eye and they'd act like professionals, and they had a sense of purpose about what they were doing. Yeah. So forget about whether you become a pilot or anything else. It's just that you know how to relate, and you know what you're there for. And to me, that's the foundation so of education. So I was saying, I'm sure there are a lot of parents that would be supportive of this, too. Instead of sending their kids to some Ivy League campus so they could be brainwashed and learn things that, right. you know, the parents don't care much for, you could connect to something and learn how to do something functionally very early. That would be a huge boost for, for kids it. in this love country. Love it. Absolutely love it.